Spot the same downturn. He's like a five by five. He's got in lines right here too on his forks. Took me an hour and a half to get over there. Sure enough, he was there. And I came around the backside perfect, and then I dropped in over the top because the wind was pushing up. I've been in my socks for 300 yards probably at this point. Creep in, and then all of a sudden I see some antlers turn. Like there he is, and I was only 30 yards from him, so. I like, creep down to where I get like kind of a shot and just see him and keep an eye on him. All I can see are horns and I just sat there for three hours just watching his horns and trying not to lose my shit, trying to be patient and not force it. Because the wind was good, it kept blowing up. We had the good thermals. And I'm 24 yards, which is the lowest my pin goes. Eventually something happened, wind swirled or something. He caught the scent and he just stood up facing me and then just took off and snorted and was gone. All week for six days we hunted on this dude. In the last hour, I decided not to push him and let him come up to me. We had all day, so let's go came out and went the wrong direction. I was hoping he'd come up this way and I was sitting right over there in that little crevice, hoping he'd walk up this chute like he normally does. Instead he gets up and starts feeding off that way. So my last stitch effort is 78 yards on the rangefinder with a 35 degree angle, way too far. But I let one fly, the only arrow I clung this whole week and it sunk right in the heart and he's like right under that tree and it's the biggest buck of my whole life. And look at this, look how far he went. That's 15 yards. <laughs>